Hey, how's it going? It's Mac. Forever Winter. Um, yeah, as the title says, I am slow learning this game. So, what I want to show in this video is uh, a couple quick milk runs, hopefully. Um, I'm at this point where I'm uh, grinding these milk runs to stock up on water, so my water supply isn't that high. Is not that high. I have uh, 11 right now, and uh, with water comes power, because with enough water I will be able to uh, unlock, well, it's going to take a lot of water and money to unlock crafting. I need 20 days of water and I need to pay 500,000 credits. And I believe all this other stuff is fairly cosmetic. Or just entirely cosmetic. And I don't have that discretionary income right now. Um, after 10 days of water and half a million credits, I can hire scavengers to collect materials required to hold a larger supply of water, increase water capacity, plus 16 days of supply. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that yet. I told myself if uh, after this weekend I can have like 20 water or so, I'd be in a pretty good place. If I can at least get like two weeks worth of water, I feel nice and comfy. And uh, the debate rages on between um, early access players about the, the state of the water death mechanic. I've mentioned it a bit in my first impressions video. You can go check that out if you if you wish. Um, I don't have a very controversial opinion. I think it's a good idea overall. I just think the implementation needs a little bit of tweaking. Uh, more carrot, uh, less stick, right? Because right now it's 100% stick. Um, so uh, yeah, so I am grinding out water, or at least when it does show up, I'm grinding it out. If, if not, then I'm picking up explosives or lock boxes to, to resell back here at the uh, innard. And I gotta say, um, yeah, this early hump, getting through the early game, is a bit rough. Um, it's a combination of persistence, patience, and luck. And I'll tell you what, what I mean about the luck. I should say the main point of this video is that I wanted to actually go into the first map, Scorch Enclave, go in actually pretty well equipped, knowing what I know now, and uh, starting at the cemetery entry point, and um, trying to methodically just go through all the bunkers to loot supplies and get my water. The quest is secondary. I've been kind of stuck on this quest for a while now. It's uh, requiring me to uh, collect three U European drone components. So either I attack and destroy the drones myself, or I hang around the drones, hope they get attacked, and once they blow up, I run out and I scavenge the parts. On that latter point, the few times I have been nearby when a drone has been destroyed, um, it just feels like all the enemy units just come flocking from all directions. Um, <laughs> there was a raid I did uh, while uh, I was just uh, offline. I wasn't recording, and I wish I did because I just got I just got through by the skin of my teeth. I was about to loot the drone that had been uh, destroyed nearby, and then I was just like ambushed by uh, a small pack of cyborgs, uh, some soldiers got involved, and I was pretty much down to no supplies, like almost out of ammo, uh, maybe down to a couple stims, it was, it was intense. I managed to extract, the main thing was just to extract the water, but uh, as a bonus I was really hoping to get some uh, European uh, drone parts. Alas, it was not meant to be. 
Okay, first things first, I wanna, uh, for, for those of you who maybe just started or are still working through the early game like I am, uh, I'll show you the, the runs, the milk runs I do for water. Um, all right, so I'm, I'm still using Shaman. As you can see, my prestige is, is still not very high, but I'm, I'm working, at, working my way up there. I recently unlocked Grillo. I think he gets unlocked uh, at prestige three uh, because I've just been so tunnel visioned on doing my milk runs that I uh, completely didn't notice him until just recently. But he sells weapons. And so I, I've been complaining that I don't have any, any selection of weapons. But now I've got a lot more options. I was limited to Aramaki. And I ended up buying the uh, PP-19 here. And uh, yeah, I was like, man, I wish I could uh, see what all these other players are talking about. They're talking about the scar. They're just about, talking about the other one, mainly the scar. And by the way, I can't use the scar. Um, heavy rifle. Shaman, can I use heavy rifles? Big, big sad. Okay, let's, let's get going here. Talking too much. Okay, so they did keep my loadout. Should I just do the run? Should I just do my quote unquote serious run through the cemetery? Maybe I should just do that. It's not like I have all the time in the world to record right now. And uh, just give it a shot. I'm so sick of going into these raids with just a surplus rifle and surplus shotgun. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just not, I just want the game to open up. And uh, from what I've seen, once you hit a certain point, you're out of the early game and you start to, you start to gain momentum and you snowball very quickly. It's, it's kind of what I've heard reading through the forums and what I've seen from some con other content creators who are in a, a much better spot. They're not uh, trying to make ends meet session to session like I am. Uh, so yeah, let's just double check my loadout. I've got, I decided to not go cheap on the healing. I, I'm bringing three standard first aid kits. I'm bringing two packs of 919 ammo for my uh, submachine gun. And I've got a pack of uh, 12 gauge buckshot for the surplus shotgun. So that's, that's the weapons and the uh, medical supplies. My rig is the standard gun runner. <clears throat> If I'm really serious about it, maybe I should just bring all four of my standard uh, first aid kits. How much do they go for? I can buy them from uh, Heisenberg for uh, 1059 okay. So I just don't like how I would gain myself, you know, tricked out, equipped heading into the raid and then if I wipe I lose everything here and I lose my ten thousand dollar submachine gun now money wise I'm not too bad uh, I'm not too bad at all right 191,000 getting close to 200k but uh, I had to I had to do a lot of uh, uh, water runs I call them milk runs but I did do a lot of milk runs to get that get that amount. Okay, let's 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 go for it. Let's go for it. Cemetery. I would start on cliffs. Cliffs is where I start from doing my milk run because I go straight to the big bunker and uh, play the hacky mini game to get inside the bunker, grab the water, and run. Uh, but lately, they've just been sending uh, Eurasian or European soldiers straight to the bunker as soon as I pick up the water. And they just already know I'm there. They're out to kill me, basically. And they just wait for me outside. It's really annoying. It's just... The game is just... I feel like the game is just trolling me at that point. Or the one time where they just... Uh, send a pack of cyborgs to wait for me outside. Anyway. Cemetery... Got my gear. 
Let's go big or go home sort of thing. Have we brought enough ammo? I feel like maybe I should bring a little bit more ammo. May as well. Let's just let's just make it count, eh? Let's make it count. Let's not pussyfoot around. <laughs> okay, let's go. This is either going to be uh, triumphant or uh, I'm going to rage quit, I think. <laughs> All right. How's it look? I wish I could get a scope for my gun. No. Uh, the iron sights is not bad. So my shotgun. Let's check the firing mode. Oh, it's on burst. I think I want to put it on semi-automatic still. They almost always have the cyborgs patrolling. Are you serious? No cyborgs? If they did have the patrolling cyborgs, I was ready to just um, try to pick them off right from the start. Just stay up here. There's almost always never enemies up here on this cliff. Drones. They're not your open drones, though. I know that much now. But we got. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna head straight over here. Make a break for it. It's bunker. So there's nothing, in, there's usually something in this bunker. So I am much disappointed. Honestly, it seems pretty quiet right now. It's more action on the left side of the map. I, I can make a way over here. There's usually ammo. There might be some other supplies. These pieces of shit always kill me. There's seriously nothing. There's nothing here. Oh, it's, it's ammunition out there. Vantage point. Anyone up? I don't think there's water down there. Anyway, I can only carry one. So. And there's nothing in here.
Oh. Um, any sword that's like flying across the sky there. see what's up in those bunkers, shall we? Okay, gotta keep moving. There's cyborgs. I don't see any, don't see any loot up here on this deck, so keep going. Go down the stairs here. I don't know. I don't even know how this gun fires, but at least I put it on. Okay, is this a big item? Okay, never mind. Soldiers moving away from me. There's no loot anywhere. This might be, um, okay. be a um, rather uneventful run. Um. Oh, we have a lot of action by this. Uh oh, there's a drone. This is a down drone. I'm. Oh, it's a risk, but I want to get some European. The tanks. I've had good luck with the tanks so far. I got it. I got it. There's, okay, there's some soldiers there. They're just kind of hanging out. Ideally, I don't know how close they are. Let me just approach a little bit. I can't see from the crap. They won't let me uh, go through this um, gap. Oh, I can crouch through. Oh, shoot. Camera blocking issues. Let's move on. Let's move along, sir. Okay. Home free. Home freaking free, boys and girls. Always a good. Yeah, I didn't fire a single shot. But <laughs> barely an experience. The the way you earn experience is still very uh it's, it's a mystery to me. I've gone on my usual milk runs and uh looted actually no like i i basically looted nothing except for the drone part and the and the water so I, i've gone on milk runs where i looted more and i've gotten more xp so that's, i think it's based on loot and also based on your kills right so i take that back it's not a complete mystery yay i got a drone part two more to go
the, the map was really quiet. It was usually not that quiet. What I like to do every single time, it's almost like I'm paranoid about it. I just like to put the water into the uh, supply area. Okay. The, the cursor has a bad habit of disappearing in the menus if I'm playing with the controller. I've got nothing to sell. I'm holding on to uh, a do not sell this drone debris. Do not sell. Do not. Don't you dare sell it. I'm kind of holding on to these uh, in case they are a uh, quest item. Battle plan. I had two battle plans. I sold one. I'm keeping one just in case. Okay. Let's let's go back out there. Exact same setup. Nothing was lost. So I don't need to buy anything. I still got my uh, PP19 equipped. But I just have to put all the ammo back into the uh into my rig shotgun is just a backup weapon so i'm just gonna put one pack of shells should be enough famous last words right am i forgetting something it's the meds shotgun shells SMG ammo. That's it, right? This is really weird. I, I've uh, tried to put attachments on my uh, SMG here. Every time I do it, every time I put an attachment on, they make you save a preset. So I've saved two presets now, but it makes it look like I have. Well, it says, it says number down here, times three. So, they give the impression that it's like, oh, I have three guns now. So they need to fix that, because it, it's very misleading. Add it to the bug list. Okay, we'll do the same setup. I'm not so concerned of getting water this time. I just want to get some you know, get some more um, medical supplies, maybe pick up... Um, I don't think I can carry weapons yet with my current rig. Looks like I can, but I should try. Looks like I can. It's just the starting rig, you cannot pick up weapons, but I should be able to pick up at least one weapon. One open storage, right? So sh I picked up a broken weapon before, yes. So. Yeah, medical supplies, an extra weapon, and uh, maybe another drone part, if we're lucky. Ah, uh, I know there are uh, this absolute capital G gamers that you know, within the the first few days, they've already amassed a fortune, and uh, are are basically calling the game easy. And I think they've you know, like I said, once you crest that hill, that big, steep, looting cur curve of a hill, uh, things I think will snowball. But, oh, here we go. Here we go. So we got the uh, cyborgs all. They're annoying. So let's just actually observe to see. Uh, to see. They don't actually go up the hill. 
They don't actually go up the hill very far. Still gonna play a little safe. Go around this mound. I'm gonna go into this first encampment. Oh, we got some uh some soldiers up ahead. Yeah, I wish there's a way when I when I tag these guys, I wish they would just show me which faction they're from. But I think you need a, a scope. You need, you need a scope attachment. And another thing I really want to get is a silencer. In terms of progression, there's like quite a quite a lot of stuff to look forward to. they were on the same team. Who was he shooting at? Oh my god, are they coming up this way? I'm crouched and I'm not, I'm not aiming down sight so I think that helps with not pulling aggro. Are they shooting the uh, cyborgs? Oh, there's a drone there as well. Oh no, there's a mech. It's not. It's not. Right, let's. Wait. Right, yeah. They don't mark the mech as a. Uh, As a the the red skull on the compass you usually mark dangerous enemies with a big red skull on the compass, but the, the mech is not showing up as such. It's weird. Okay, there's a there's a bunker up ahead. Oh yeah, some looting to do here. I don't know the la what the last item was. But let's go inside. There might be something. Oh, a large lockbox? Yeah, sure. You never know what you would find. I th believe these large lock boxes sell for 15k. It's a decent amount. Okay, there's soldiers that way. Sounds like there's a tank on the other side of this building. How badly do I wanna loot? Okay, they're fighting, they're fighting. I should actually get the ammo as well. Get I just basically don't want to go hog wild. Oh, I don't want to go hog wild because uh, if I get too greedy, they're gonna send those dreaded hunter killers after me, right? It's really hot where I just was, but, uh, so I'm gonna actually loop back around to the uh, starting area and wind my way around. Oh, frick. There's, there's cy cyborgs. 
up in the starting area. This map is a lot livelier than it was uh, last time, wasn't it? I'm pretty much at capacity. Is there, is, am I just going crazy or? I have 28.1 kilograms, but I can only carry 19.7, yet my movement is the same. I'm not being forced to uh, abandon any items, right? I think it's safe for me to go. Okay. I'm very familiar with this area. It's the uh it's the timed extraction zone. I did last time. I hear radio chatter. Um, if I walk, if I go head first into a fire team, I'm probably gonna die. make a, a split second course correction there because we had a, my exact fear was about to come true I was about to go straight head first into a squad I'm not far enough out of bounds to be in the minefield which is nice the Ruskin? You Ruskin, pardon me, soldiers? Okay, I feel like if I go on the other side, wait for them to patrol back, and then I can just uh, sneak around and crouch. This, this fire is making it hard to see. I don't like how I can't see. Fire is just for, um, yeah, it doesn't really hurt you at all. Oh, I was worried because I was afraid the fire was gonna prevent me from uh, escaping. 
freedom found oh. It's weird. I was I was getting all kitted out to to expect a fight and I haven't shot I haven't fired one bullet from my new gun. Oh, I forgot to look at my loot, but I, I feel like I got a lot of crap. Easy cause my rig was all filled up. Alright. Yeah, quite a fertilizer. Oh, okay. You can. It's like a desperate last ditch resort for getting some health back. Sort of like with the whiskey and the uh, cigarettes. So I didn't actually get water this time, but I got a large lockbox, which is fine. So, I'm very unpopular with these two gentlemen. Heisenberg, though, Charles, and Bunko. No problem, but Bunko needs to drop his uh, t cost. He's still trying to make 10% more than average. Oh, these guys are giving me a 25% uh, break. Bunko's a dick. Good thing I don't really have to buy from him anymore. I mean, all he has is ammo. So I was like, what good are you? Maybe he'll get some new stuff in the future. I can't say. So, another weird thing is that it, it appeared that if I was going to resell items, if I resold it back to somebody who was more trusting of me, I would get more money. He would, they would pay me more money, but I, I don't think that's the case anymore. So if we look at the battle plans, 4817, and I go to somebody who doesn't like me, like Grillo. Battle plans still sell for 4817. So there's some inconsistency. <laughs> I don't know what changed, but I very much recall in one of my play sessions that uh, people who didn't trust me wouldn't pay as much cash for items as opposed to those who did trust me. But you know, we can maybe create some favor with Grillo and sell some things back to him. Do not sell. <laughs> I wish you could like tag things as like locked so they never get sold by accident. Okay, it's a large lockbox. Yeah, 15,047. Let's sell that puppy. He uh, hates me a little bit less now, so yeah, that's good. Yay, we broke 200k. Sell the booze. Sell the basic tool set. Wait, is this... Yeah, good for trade. As long as this is good for trade, I know it's not going to be used for anything else, like a quest. Oh, I had more than one, pardon me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for trade. Fertilizer is actually worth quite a bit. I'm actually going to hold on to the fertilizer. This is the first time I picked up fertilizers. I, f I feel like maybe it's for a quest. I have two weapon techs now. I'll hang on to them. I'm not hard up for cash anymore. Like I'm building up a nice base now, a financial base. And oh, I'm very close to uh, prestiging. But before I wrap up this video, I actually wanted to. Um, do try and do a, a quick milk run. So in order to do that, I have to make sure I equip my surplus rifle. And now I'll just get one pack of shotgun shells. What else do I need? 
get a couple stems. Oh, right. Um, set myself up with the, uh... The crappy ammo for the surplus rifle. There we go. And that's usually all I need. Oh, of course, I have to go back and change my entry point to cliffs. Now I go ready. I forgot his name, but I, I, I should credit another content creator. I uh, checked out his video. He, he, sh he showed me this run. And it was working great for a while until... I don't know if it was like a live update or... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. It doesn't work on this version of, uh, of this of this map. Shoot. I mean, I'll try anyway, but uh, on this version of the map, there's a lot of cyborgs. It, uh, this, this, this milk run only works during the day, during the daylight. Not, not dusk, just like dusk or early dawn or something. Early dawn. Dawn is dawn. <laughs> oh yeah, and then... This is the first time actually I've seen the uh, Attack on Titan... Giants. Oh man, this this is just like a scuffed run. Many oh. units. Not enough this is an entirely scuffed run. Eurasian Mother Courage. So they're on the side of the Eurasians? That's so weird. Like, they're actively employed. Okay, so you. The same button they use to um, switch ammo types is the one you use to identify targets. Okay, so this run's scuffed. Completely scuffed. Oh, shit. Nobody's following me, right? Nobody's following me. Wait, witness this beautiful pile of corpses. It's, it's lovely, isn't it? Uh, apparently, these are these mounds of piles of corpses are created by the uh, Mother Courages. I mean, I'm just using their proper name. I'm trying to be respectful here. So what I like to do is. Come here. Use the uh, code. Play the fun little mini game. They are sending their best. We don't have much time. Excuse me. I just started. Where are the jaggies and then the? Uh... There we go. So I'm I'm basically screwed because they know I'm in here now. You can see all the uh, question mark icons, and there's no water. There's no water. They 
are sending their best. Oh, Eurasian plants. We don't have much time. Oh, there is water. Well, not that's gonna do me much okay, good. Well spent. I'm basically. You can see. Swarming. I, you know, it's like how I, I'm hiding out in a bunker with the door closed. How do you know I'm here? Right. So this kind of AI glitching nonsense um, definitely needs to be fixed. You know, it's like what I just took like a tiny little step. I hope we make peace. God. If I if I make a break for it, I'm dead. So I'm just gonna try to take out as many as I can, and at least I'll get some XP, right? Let's do it. Crawlers, I couldn't even see them because they were. Anyway. I could have uh, ended this failed raid with zero XP. But at least I came up with something. Didn't get any loot. But my losses were minimal. I just lost a pack of shotgun shells. And a couple stems. So let me do it one more time. I'm gonna go in like practically naked. Because I, I sometimes it's a fl flip of the coin. I don't know if they're gonna give me that version of the map or the proper one. Uh, but even with the proper one, it's uh, they can still screw me over. Surprise, surprise, right? I'm not gonna even get a. I. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I should at least get a couple stims because when I'm running and I'm being shot at, those can be a lifesaver. It's rough playing this game by yourself, so I'm gonna try to team up with some people real soon. I have tried. I tried some. Uh, here we go. So this. When the sky is red, the then. I at least have a fighting chance to get this done. No tanks, no mechs. It's too quiet. Got some, got some soldier boys over there. They're fighting. There a couple drones. Just hide, crouch down. Yeah, that whole recover, recover your corpus business is just so bugged. Um, it's just totally uh, not true that you get your stuff back. I can't seem to figure this shape out. I'm, I'm having a mental block here. There we go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're flowing now. We're flowing. Just tell me the end of the code again to close the door. I don't think so. I think not. Hey, there's no water. Are you serious? Oh yeah, see they're pulling this junk again. They're alerting people to my presence already. It used to be they would at least wait until I picked up water. There is water. Bingo. It pays 
to be the underdog. But now they're just alerting people to my presence. Even after I close the door. Um, it's bull, bull crap. I probably just loot everything. I have a very... Of a rather small chance of survival if they're actually uh, waiting for me outside. Okay, this is a large item, so. Yeah, it's pretty modest in terms of the loot in this bunker, so I'm ready to go. Okay, so. I usually stay crouched and I open a door. If no one shoots at me right away. Oh, shoot. They know I'm here. There is they they like to send a squad of soldiers out here. Yeah, I wish they would just go away. I just want to demonstrate the uh, the milk run that I do. Oh, they're fighting! They're fighting! Oh my god, there's too many, um, there's too many enemies. Okay, that was, that was good, that was good. Okay. So, this is a nice place to reset, regroup. And from here, I can usually see if there's any cyborgs hanging about. Oh, is the is the drone getting shot? It is getting shot. I'm tempted to uh, salvage once it dies. Oh damn! Should I should I try it? Okay, there, uh, those soldiers are engaged in a firefight. Okay. okay, so we're almost there. We're almost there. So, uh, always looks empty here. Like, there's no one around, but you just gotta walk a little bit forward, and it'll spawn. There we go. They just magically spawn the mech. Magic. It's the magic of game development. And then they also spawn some foot soldiers, Minions and they're all they're all on the same side. Oh, here's some more. There's gonna be a fight, perhaps. Ideally, um, people start killing each other. Come on. The worst is if like a squad of soldiers just do like a two-point patrol. Like, they'll be here, and then they'll move to the left, and it'll be like, okay, time to turn around, and then I'll move to the right. And then you're just completely screwed. <laughs> it's more of a concern now, when I when I still have to activate the timer. Tons of radio I've done some major, like, weaving and juking to get to the extraction point once it's ready, once it's been cooked. Yeah, and then you just, you know they're just behind this rock. But if that's it, if that's the patrol, I'll just wait until they, oh. Oh, you fucker. There are so many Stupid things. geometry just get in my way again. Not open fire. It is the most frustrating thing.
And I like to just run back to this area here. Very important to just kind of stay, for me to stay wedged. Oh shit! Oh shit, they started to fight. Oh shit, okay, okay. Okay, okay, they started to fight each other, but the uh, cyborgs are coming now. Okay, I didn't take that much damage. Okay, I thought I was crouched, but I, I, now I'm crouched. They need a, a crouch status. I, oh, for frick's sake, man. No! No! Oh my god. If you can stand Oh my god. I thought that I thought I was done. I thought I was done. So that's evac time less than eight minutes. That that might be my personal best. It usually takes me about 11 to 12 minutes because of the the waiting right i go into that first bunker uh, after uh cracking the code and i usually have to wait a bit there then um sprinting up to that bunker on the side other side of the map go up the stairs right that area end up waiting there for a bit as well and then at the very end the time distraction Depending on how uh, crazy it gets, I usually end up waiting the longest there. Yeah, I got my water, which is good. Yeah, basically, yeah, for overall, like, for less than eight minutes, it wasn't too bad. It's a little bit intense, too. Got the blood up. So, roughly this scenario, I've repeated, I don't know how many times at this point. But to me, that, is, that has been my early game. Coming on like 10 hours of playing this game uh, in early access. And I don't, I have mixed feelings about that. I truly do. It's, it's compelling. Like I shut off this game, I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna be thinking about this game. I'm gonna think about coming back with a lot of things I want to accomplish. There's definitely things I want to accomplish and that keeps pulling me back in. At the same time, I end up, I end up doing the same damn thing over and over again. And um, I think I'm really, I'm really gonna let this game shine if I just start playing with more people. So I did mention earlier that I tried to play uh, some pickup games using the uh, squad management here, and it didn't go well at all. Like I would just like join into people's games, and they were just sitting idle in their uh, innard and not doing anything, even though I'm readied up and I'm just waiting around. Or I uh, join a game, it looks like we're about to deploy to a raid, and they just kick me for whatever reason. So I uh, haven't had any good luck with this so far, or, or just fails to join for whatever reason. So, I think the best course of action is to play with somebody I already know. And right now, I only know one person who has this game. Or uh, just make some friends on Discord. So, we'll see. We'll see. Once, uh, I think ideally, uh, uh, the community here seems really good. The For Winter community seems quite civil, willing to help each other out and uh, reasonable so i think uh for the long term it's it's kind of uh on me to uh reach out and to step out of my comfort zone and uh, make some friends and uh i should be able to progress a lot faster and the game will open up a lot more because i've done a bit of a uh 180 with my perception of the co-op uh more people is more guns which is more guns means you have more ability to fight back. So, strength in numbers. Hey, 
let's unlock that prestige. Something I also learned, and something that the game does tell you, there's a tooltip somewhere. Once you once you are able to unlock prestige, you have you may as well stop doing anything and just unlock the prestige because you stop gaining XP for the character. So I'm gonna unlock prestige. Yes. All currently learned skills be lost and you will restart with the enhanced base stats, yeah. So yeah, this really invalidates this whole character skill progression system. I they really need to rethink this as well because I did waste at the start. Quote unquote waste. I wasted about four thousand credits because I unlocked sprinting expert one and carry capacity one. But as soon as I prestige, they just zero out. So like what's more important? It seems like prestige is more important. Because prestige will unlock things in the metagame. Whereas you just get incremental boosts to these to these stats, which like in the end, like who cares about a two percent faster sprint? And then to get the next to get four percent, you have to give up sixty five hundred XP. Where you could just put that XP towards the next prestige level. That's like half halfway towards uh, prestige five. So, yeah, they really need to rethink that. Rethink the skill progression system. All right, that that's all for me. Um, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. If you actually stayed until this this point, I really appreciate it. Do all the awesome YouTube things. Leave a like, subscribe if this video pleases you, and uh, leave a comment because I love reading your comments. And uh, until the next video, I will see you later. Take care.